is McKenna. I'm a small business owner here in Seattle, Washington, and I like to take you guys along for my weekly studio vlogs as well as market vlogs and additional small business content. Welcome to my channel, and let's get into another week in the studio. I got more bad market news um, on a couple fronts, and so I'm having uh, not it's such a great evening. you guys it's Monday I almost wasn't gonna get cute for the camera I almost was like no I don't want to be on camera today and then I straightened my hair and I thought I have to be here it's Monday <laughs> so we're gonna do it um let's talk about everything that's been going on and what's going on for the week so first off there's a weenie on the ground that walked in during my intro ah. There she is. This is Lavender. If you guys didn't know, she's a mini weenie. She's very big energy. Um, basically for the week, <laughs> let's just let's just jump in. Let's just jump into what's going on. Um, so we had an amazing market yesterday. It was wonderful. I had a great time. I'm a huge fan of farms and doing October events. Just like fall events in general, I feel like are amazing. I started doing markets last year and my first one was a fall market and it's really what inspired me to keep going for a whole year of doing markets. Um, I am going to be talking about something really exciting that I'm trying to work on. I'm deciding on when I'm going to be releasing these and how, like what, how often I'll be posting this, but I am going to be doing a market series and we'll talk about that more in a different video, but it is coming. So I'm going to be doing like a how to get into markets and have a couple different episodes. So there's a future series where we're going to work on. Um, I was writing out everything this morning and I just wanted, I was too excited. Um, it's already like, oh my gosh, it's 1.30. Whoa. I got up really early today and I paid my quarter three taxes. Ding. So fun. We love that for small businesses. And it was high, so that was fun. We love paying sales tax. Um, but I'm happy. I got it done. It's completed. And that's and it was it's not even due till the 31st. So I'm ahead of the game for the first time ever. I'm so proud. Um, but I got that done and then I've been working on figuring out inventory for what is going on? There's so much cat action in the hall. Um, I'm working on inventory for this weekend, we have two markets happening. Um, we're going to be at 33 Artists and we're going to be again at the Fall Festival that I've been at. Um, I'm really excited for 33. I did it back in June, I think it was, and I had a great time. And I, it's inside, so that's always fun. Um, I do think the weather is finally going to like chill down. Um, it's been really hot. Um, it's been like in the 70s, which isn't hot, but it's like full sun. There's no shade. So it's, you're just kind of sweating in your booth. So this weekend I think it's going to be potentially cold, um, hopefully not rainy, but I think Saturday will be um, potentially raining, but we're inside, so it won't matter. I'm excited for the market. Um, I am a little anxious because I have quite a bit of inventory to get ready. We sold out of a lot of stuff, which is great, and like that's the goal at markets, but then that means there's so much to do <laughs> for prepping for the next week. Um, I will say markets are not for the faint of heart if you're somebody that likes to take a couple days after and you don't like to do back to back to back don't be like me <laughs> it's not easy um which you probably know from if you've been watching but if you're new here um i do a lot of markets this year specifically i really wanted to focus on getting into as many markets as i could get a lot of experience see what i like what works what doesn't it's really helped me figure out my brand and my business because honestly in person like comments and hearing what customers and like people walking by say has really helped like it's basically just like a free you know like social media you get a lot of people like that's so cute where'd you get it da, da, da. and it's great I love social media but in person people are very quick to comment and I love hearing it. <laughs> sometimes it's criticism it's rare, but it's usually like a guy and I, I don't know, I don't really care what they think. So, uh, but it is interesting to hear when people are like, oh, this is such a cute idea. Or like, oh, what about this? And like people ask me questions and it honestly, 
spark some ideas. So I appreciate that um, tremendously. I also want to say, because this made me so happy, at the market, we had a couple people come just for me from this YouTube community, and I... If I didn't say it enough in person, I just want to say thank you. Anyone that comes out to any of my events that's been watching on YouTube or follows on any of my social media and like that's the reason they came, like you have no idea what that means to me. Like if you told me a year ago that's some, that that would happen to me, I would be like, what? Because <laughs> I started this channel officially in February, I think it was. January, February. So we're almost at the year mark of this channel. And I have a lot of big plans and changes I'm going to be making. Um when we are out of fourth quarter because I am very anxious about the holidays. Um, I did get into another uh, holiday market. I'm gonna pay the fee and get it, get it all official. Um, it's gonna be in Tacoma. So if you're in Tacoma, I'm gonna be there in November. I need to, I'll post official dates when I'm like all confirmed. Um, but right now that's only two markets for winter. I'm on wait list for everything else. So I'm very anxious. I don't really know what to prepare for. But anyway, that's kind of what's been going on. That's the word. Um, I wasn't feeling like filming today. This morning, I honestly was just like, I just want to be cozy and work on things on the couch. And then I was like, no, we got to vlog. We got to come to the vlog. Um, the rest of the day, we're going to be... Hold on, that was a really loud vibration. I don't even know why it vibrated. There's nothing on it. Anyway, hold on. Let's think about what's happening today. <laughs> Um, we're basically going to be, I need to really get this Christmas stuff finalized. Some stuff has to be sent out. I'm actually doing a collab for Christmas, so I need to get that finished. I'm very behind, I know that, like, I don't know what happens. I feel like fall, I was like, okay, we're getting it out. It's going, it's good. Now I'm like, oh my gosh, Christmas. Ah, uh, this happens every year, I don't know. Because the idea, like some people, if you're somebody that plans ahead, works on Christmas in July, I'm jealous of you and I hopefully will one day be that person but I just am a very seasonal person and the idea of doing that makes me want to cry and I know that's what I have to do I know in my soul but it's just so hard um that's just my feelings right now so I need to work on design work um and official counts for how much I need to make um we're also I'm out of cardstock so thankfully Eli is going to be close by one of the stores I like to buy from He's gonna pick stuff up for me. I also am going to a dinner um, with some uh, one of Eli's friends later, and so I don't know. The day's kind of a weird one. I feel like honestly, it's gonna be a lot of computer work. So this might be our only chatting moment today, but we'll see. Um, but that's just where I'm at. That's where we're at for the week. We have a lot of market prep. We have a lot of new product design that needs to happen, um, and yeah. I mean, it's pretty much the same, same old, same old over here. But hopefully we'll get some good news this week on, on life in general. So, yeah, that's where we're at. Yay, Monday! Hello and happy Tuesday! So, yesterday I did not film more because it honestly was all computer work. And then we went out and um, met up with a friend and I just, I was not feeling like the filming. But today... Uh, we have a lot to get done. Um, I think it's going to be a big market prep day, but I also really have to design um, Christmas stuff because I got an email being like, hey, this collab needs to be ASAP. So I'm like, oh, I need to finish these designs like today. Um, I've already picked out the Christmas holiday themed Kindle sleeve fabrics. I'm really excited about it. I still need to figure out how to market these a little bit better because um, I really need to get these fall ones sold. Um, but you know, it's okay. It'll hopefully all sell. We've sold two so far and each um, design has only has four in inventory. And so I'm trying to decide, like, should I have less? But I really do have to buy a yard and that's just like how many you can make from it. So that's what I'm thinking. Um, but I have decided on a theme and like the colors and they all go together but they're all like separate and so I think they look really cute together. I did actually stumble upon um, a manufacturer to make the Kindle sleeves, the ones that I was thinking where it was gonna be kind of like the material for the cozies where it's more of a tablet it cover, it, it zips. Um, so I did find that but I'm trying to decide where we're going to move forward from here depending on how much time these do take um but i do really like sewing them so i don't know we'll see 
the next so the next launch will be the holiday launch the little christmas holiday themes and then it's going to be another book lover launch and then tbd on the third launch um i'm trying to commit <laughs> Um, it's probably going to be like a mixture of a few things that I've been really wanting to have out for the holidays. There might not be like a theme for it, it's just going to be like a little launch. But yeah, there's a lot to do. Uh, quarter four really came up and got me. I feel so overwhelmed. I also have two markets this weekend and next weekend. And one of them next weekend is a two day event. So it's going to be a three day weekend of market, which like I like in my soul, I'm so excited for. I love doing markets. It's the prep and like the... All the things I need to get done that I'm a little like nauseous about, especially because all of a sudden it's like, I don't know, the middle of October. I, the end of the year really takes over. Um, but today we need to do a huge restock. I'm looking through in a ton of my bookmarks, we had like one left. I don't know what, I, I like during the day on Sunday, I was like, wow, we're selling a lot of bookmarks, but like physically having them laid out like this, I'm like, holy moly, we sold out of a lot of bookmarks, um, which is great, but I now need to print a lot of bookmarks um eli got here i can like flip the camera he's able to stop off and get me my cardstock so there's four reams of that um <laughs> because they were on sale and i was like just get them so i think we're gonna print out um everything that needs to be laminated let them dry probably overnight and i'll laminate them tomorrow and then i'm gonna go through stickers and get a clear inventory i love our book bundles but it definitely is hard to track what's selling um and so i don't really know what the quantities are for some of these stickers so we have to do that and since there's two markets this weekend i kind of need to prep a little bit more inventory than i usually do i also am going to be running a sale on all halloween and fall apparel because i really since these are last year's designs they're all, they're selling really well but i do need to clear them out so i think i'm trying to see like the order of operations of my day I think I'm gonna work on this for a bit and then um uh <laughs> I'm like then what I also have an order I'm like there's so much there's so much in my brain and I need to get better about I like make to-do lists but I just like don't plan out my day I used to have a really like rigid like I would block out my day and times and it did help a lot but it also was kind of exhausting to constantly have to be like following it and so Lately, I haven't been doing that, and I kind of wish I was, because I'm a little... There's, like, too much to do, and that's when I get a little overwhelmed. And so, that's that's the truth right now. Uh, we're also, we're getting super low. I'm, like, looking at everything. We're getting really low on books, um, which is concerning. We sold way more than I thought we would. And I did do a restock online. I did order from Book Outlet again. I still haven't found another resource that's similar to Book Outlet that has the prices it does um and the quantity of books that i can buy i am looking into um kind of like the bookstore end of things and how that works um so i did a lot of research last night <laughs> i watched so many tiktoks on people that own bookstores and how they get their inventory from publishers and it's very interesting i don't know my dream would be to open a bookstore and then have all of my bookish things and like make the shop maybe more just like book related and have a theme and like it would be the dream um but we'll see if that ever happens i do also love making all the other things that i make that aren't book related so that's my like hindrance and i'm like do i keep palm creative as like the side like creative outlet and then open a separate store for bookish stuff but i'm like that seems a little insane so i probably won't be doing that um but yeah there's just been a lot of stuff running around in the noodle you guys um i can't believe i just said noodle goodness gracious um <laughs> um but yeah there's just like a lot of stuff that i'm trying to figure out as far as the brand the business where i want things to go next year and it's kind of hard because we're still trying to figure out where we're going to be if we're going to be here in seattle which i think we will be but it's just a lot of things going on behind the scenes that I'm just like having a hard time personally making plans because I feel like I stick to a plan and then everything changes and so this week hopefully we get some clarity on some things in our personal lives for me and my husband and then we can kind of move forward but I feel like if we stay here I am tempted to rebrand the name of the shop I don't know I really do love Palm Creative and it has been a 
a treat, but I also am like, well, I don't know. I just feel like it's not, it's not the vision I first had when I started this. Oh my gosh, let me talk about When I originally started Palm Creative, it was going to be almost like, not a boutique, but like, it was going to be a hub of other small businesses and we were going to have like a website and a storefront and it was going to be called The Trading Post. And it was a very cute idea in my brain and like, it was very California based. And that's why it was called Palm Creative. But now, you know, four years later, the shop has changed so much. I've changed so much. We live in a different place. I'm no longer in Los Angeles for now, hopefully. <laughs> that's really the, the thing that might happen. So we'll keep an eye <laughs> on everything that's going on. Um, but you know, if we are staying permanently up here, I feel like I want to rebrand a bit. But I don't know, it's it's hard to make these decisions. I feel like when I made the brand, I definitely didn't see myself leaving Los Angeles. And since we have, and I mean, I didn't know. It was pre-COVID when the shop started. So many things have changed. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I think it would be so cool though to have a, a little bookshop. I also have like a dream would be one of those, the little um, Japanese trucks and making it into a bookstore or a van. Um, but I feel like in Seattle, I don't know if that would be the best. If I moved somewhere smaller, I feel like I'd do really well. But driving those little things, I hear, is hard. You can't go on the highway. I've done my research, but, you know. There's lots of dreams, and I don't know where the dream is headed. And I feel like, though I have been gravitating towards bookish things, I love reading, and it's been a huge part of my life. And I'm, I, have for a long time, kind of stepped away from reading, from writing, from all these things that I did for a very long time because of college, like college drains you from reading. And then, you know, I had a really, really demanding career and I just, things changed. And now I'm like back into this realm of things that I really enjoy and it's really exciting, but also really scary. Cause I'm like, do I change my shop? I don't know. Um, I would love to know though, in the comments, if you are somebody that's had this feeling of like, you find your niche but then you're also worried about niching down i feel like that's my biggest fear is like if i commit to let's just say let's go the bookish route if i just say i want it to be book related everything um all my products would have some theme to books that just seems scary what if i get burnt out from that that's that's mostly what i'm worried about but this year specifically i've been really into it and it's been really exciting but there's also things i love to make that aren't book related so i don't know I don't know. And I don't know what I'd rename the shop. I've tried to come up with names and I like like something for a couple months and then I hate it. So, <laughs> so good, so fun. And I thought about doing my name in it, but I don't know if that's really still the trend. I know a lot of people still have their name as their business. Um, and I've, I almost did that. My original, my photography business was that. So, but if it would be like McKenna Rain something, cause that's my middle name is Rain, but I don't know. Anyway ranting to you about these things that I feel like have been swirling around and I'm trying to figure out and I would just if you're somebody that's having a business struggle like this and I feel like it's been honestly the whole year for me where I've just been trying to figure out where what's next and I I want it to grow so badly but I feel like I do need to figure out a lot of these back-end things that have been holding me back and I'm holding myself back because I'm nervous about change and doing these things so if you're if you're on the same boat i would love to know um but now that i've rambled for probably oh look 10 minutes we love that um i think we're going to jump into restocking and printing and getting everything ready for this big weekend of markets i'm very excited 33 artists is really fun um and it's the last time they're doing it in this building that was really pretty and so I'm just, I'm excited. It's going to be a really good weekend. Um, and hopefully it's a good sales weekend, but also just like getting to connect and be in that kind of space is just really, honestly, when I do markets and I get to talk to the people that are like vendors, it's just so, ugh, it's such good energy. So I'm going to start doing this. Let's, let's get into, <laughs> let's get into market prep. And then if we need another heart to heart, I guess this is just the, I guess the vlog, the vlog this week is heart to hearts. That's, that's the truth. You know what's super fun? When you realize you're out of ink. 
Um, so I'm trying to figure what to do. I'm out of yellow. I can get it here tomorrow. And like magenta's low. And I'm just like, why? This printer takes eight cartridges. Eight. And usually like if I buy the full pack, it's like a hundred and something, 120, 20 or 130. It's a lot. It's an expensive printer. Um, and the ink is expensive, but the print quality is chef's kiss. However, this is so annoying. And I'm like, did I really run out of like all the other colors I feel like I have? I don't know. This is so sad. This is sad, sad. So I guess I'm just gonna have to order it. Um, I'm trying to decide what to do because I really need to start printing things. I might be able to get away with some of these things I can print, but other things I won't be able to, which means I need to adjust this day. I'm so irritated. I need to market prep. And I had no idea. Like the only thing I really don't like about this printer and like the processor or whatever, it doesn't really show you levels unless I'm like constantly checking it, which I guess I should. You know, that's on me, I guess. But it never is like, hey, ink's getting low. Refill soon. It's just like death. Like it's like, sorry, can't print anymore. I'm out. Girl. I think we can get away with it. It is flashing directly, which means it probably won't let me. But we'll try. We will attempt. Um, I, re I replaced like four other cartridges because apparently they're all out. Like, I don't know. Printers. Okay, so I'm gonna try it. We'll see. If not, I'm gonna have to rearrange my schedule today if I can't print bookmarks. Um, and I really don't want to buy the full pack because I have a whole bunch of other colors still. Um, but what a bummer. Not cute. Not fun. Not demure. Okay, I'm gonna get back to this. Okay, a little update. Oh my goodness. This dog really wanted in my lap. Um, I just went through all the lids and straws, organized them, um, I'm ordering more because literally that lavender and that light pink sells out always. <laughs> Those are like, I only have two right now. Well, the rest I have like a good amount. And I just reorganized um, my inventory shelf again to make it a little easier. Oh, don't look at me like that. She's looking at me like, please pay attention girl you get cuddles all the time um <laughs> I'm a little I'm a little lady uh <laughs> so I just reorganized everything so it was a little easier so all the lids I can actually see what I have um I just ended up using the boxes that they come in so then I could s just you know not waste as much I guess because there's always more boxes and then straw wise I have some showing up tomorrow so I can't put all the straws back into the box, but that's kind of where I'm at. But then earlier, 
um, cause it's now like four o'clock. So for a couple hours I was updating the website, getting everything updated with the sales. So all of the Halloween and fall stuff is on sale right now. Um, please, please, please help me clear these shelves. Um, I also still need to clear this shelf that's been, we've talked about it. I have a lot of cute small business stuff and crafty stuff that's in the sale. So go ahead and check it out as well as the Halloween and fall. I just need to get stuff cleared out really bad. Um, I'm very stressed out about it and I'm trying to figure out ways to get the word out more because I feel like whenever I try to post a sale it gets like no views so <laughs> um, I definitely need to figure out the best way to get that going because we need to get this stuff out of here. Now I think, I'm trying to think what else, so yeah anyway I did that, I sent my email out for that, I answered some emails and now I'm kind of in the zone of What's next? I think I need to switch gears and do some sewing for a little bit and make some more um, Kindle and book sleeves. Um, and then I need to get an order ready to go out for tomorrow so it gets there hopefully in time for... It is like I think that everything the order was more fall related so I'm, I'm happy that they have some more time to enjoy it but I need to get that out the door and then I need to kind of figure out what's going on the rest of my day. I have so much to do you guys. And I think we're trying to leave Friday um, for these markets since it's a Saturday market. So I'm feeling very overwhelmed, I would say. Top tier overwhelmed today. Um, it's just a lot. It's a lot to do. Uh, anyway, I'm going to get this stuff organized. I still need to print some more bookmarks too. So maybe I'll print bookmarks so they're done. Get them all ready to go for tomorrow laminating. Um, and then sticker wise, I do need to make stickers, but I don't know how much more my ink is going to let me print as well because, um, like magenta and yellow are the ones that are pretty low. So far it's still printing the same colors, so we're good right now, but it will be soon. It soon will be a problem. Hello weenie. Oh my gosh, you guys. She's being such a little... Look at her. <laughs> like I want to be involved in everything. Are you just a baby? She's like yes yes I am. Um, but anyway that's where I'm at. I'm gonna keep working. I also have had um, a really annoying headache all day so I'm really trying to push through. I think even though it's four o'clock I think I might make a latte actually. So I'm gonna start printing. I'm gonna make a latte and then um, <laughs> see where we're at because gonna be I have a lot to do and I don't know how I'm gonna get through it all so let's get back to it let's get back to market prep
Okay, you guys, so it is almost 7 o'clock. Um, everything else I'm going to do today, I think I'm going to do in sweatpants and <laughs> being cozy. I got more bad market news um, on a couple fronts, and so I'm having uh, not such a great evening, just being honest. Um, I didn't get into another one, and then an event that I was thinking about doing and like had done last year, it was like my only winter, well, that's not true, one of my winter markets, they raised the price from $50 to $300, and I don't think I even made that last year because it was such a bad market. <laughs> Um, and so I'm very frustrated. A ton of other small businesses are really mad. It's just like a whole thing. And it also is like across the state. So I'm like, I'm not gonna go to an event that's $300 that I know last year I didn't do well at because they also didn't advertise this event even though it's like in the downtown area. I don't know, the whole thing is just really frustrating because it definitely really feels like they care more about money than small businesses and like it's a city event and it's just like crazy to me that you'd raise it that high they blamed it on like oh well, those were covid prices and i'm like raising it from 50 to 300 is a big jump huge jump you could raise it to 100 even 150 200 300 is like crazy to me so I, I don't know i'm just feeling very overwhelmed very nervous so i'm trying to come up with alternatives to what i'm gonna do for the holidays because i'm feeling very overwhelmed we only have two i only have two markets confirmed um one is a big event but it's the only one i've gotten into the rest have been all waitlist so i think only like one or two have been actual no's everything else has been waitlisting and i'm just feeling pretty crappy about that so today i need to really think about what i'm gonna do for the holidays and like what the backup plan is because as much as i want to say yeah like i'll just really push for online like it's really hard to get sales online so i don't know We'll come up with something. Um, if you guys have any ideas, uh, I'd love to hear them. But yeah, I don't know. Woof, what a day. Um, but that order was so cute and I'm so excited um, for it to go out tomorrow. And luckily, like with how shipping was, I was able to do priority. So they were able to get it sooner. My dog is really, Lavender's being very barky today. Um, but anyway, I think I'm gonna end today and then we will meet back in the morning and hopefully I'll have some new ideas of what I'm gonna do for market stuff or like holidays because I'm feeling nervous to have all these launches and then like have nothing happen with them and I just have inventory anyway boy oh boy happy Tuesday good morning and happy Wednesday my friends so the ink showed up I bought two boxes of each of magenta and yellow so they're here which means we can finish printing get stickers done all those things that need to happen um for a market restock a lot of things are also kind of delayed in shipping so i'm a little anxious i'm not exactly sure what's going on um like things that usually arrive in a certain amount of time are a little delayed and it seems like a lot i don't know and all of them are west coast based like they're not um where the hurricanes have been so i'm kind of like what's going on i don't know if it's just bad luck or what um but anyway we are here it is another day um, this morning I finished up the studio vlog. It's now live. So that is finished. I got ready and now I'm figuring out my next move. I found some more um, holiday type events, like really small markets that I think I'm just going to apply to and see what happens. I don't know. I'm just kind of like shooting my shot everywhere. I Part of me is still like, okay, well maybe I'll get off of one of these wait lists, but I'm just like not super hopeful especially when it's like holidays are so competitive. Um, I don't know. It's been a definite bummer, <laughs> um, especially when I'm nervous to do all these launches because I'm like, well, if I'm not doing markets, like how am I selling this stuff? Because right now my business is most successful in person, it markets and online like I, I get a good amount of orders but it's it's definitely nothing compared to my business in person um like this week's been really slow with sales and I don't know if I'm just not posting enough like I feel like I'm posting a lot maybe I'm not posting the kind of content that gets people to buy I don't I literally don't know it's endless <sighs> running a business is endless um the lighting in here it feels like I'm going to heaven like it's just so angelic weird I don't know what's going on. I think it's like the sun's popping out of the, the clouds this morning. Um, but I think 
I'm going to try to get some of that computer stuff done right now probably so it's out of the way and then like get all these applications submitted um and then I don't know market prep I guess I really do need to design today too I didn't have a chance yesterday I just was too busy so I don't now I feel like I should do market prep first and then do all my computer stuff later so maybe that's what we'll do I would let's get into here it also is freezing in here because I usually shut my door to the office at night um so the cats aren't in here like having a heyday but it's freezing now oh lavender's up okay we're gonna warm up our coffee get the mood lighting going and then I think let's market prep and then we'll do all the other stuff I need to do boy oh boy so fun so good yay y'all <laughs> I don't even know what to say I don't know why I just giggled but I'm like so stressed so <laughs> um Kindle just announced a ton of new products like they have a new paper white there's a new one that's like color page I think and then there's a new scribe one which I wasn't gonna do cases for the scribes but like and then they have a new like just Kindle which would have been nice to know <laughs> Because when I bought my paperweight this year, which literally was like a month ago or two months ago, I think it was over the summer, I bought it, but I looked up, I was like, is there a lot, like new items coming soon? And like no articles, they're like, oh, there's rumors that some might come out. And then they just dropped it. And that's like, for, like as a consumer, I'm annoyed because I would have waited to buy a new one because they have pink. Come on, that's so annoying. But as a business, who just launched Kindle sleeves and uh, Kindle inserts, I am now stressed and pressed uh, <laughs> because I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have to like rethink this future of these lines because there's so many new uh, options. Before it was really just like they had a base, the Kindle basic, I think, and then there was Kindle Paperweight and then there's this like Oasis and Scribe. And so I'm just like, but I was like, everyone has a paperweight, and now I'm like, oh, and it's a different size. So I'm gonna have to completely think, rethink everything. This is the, the brain of, uh, it's melting. Um, but anyway, so now I think I'm gonna post on TikTok and be like, hey, hey guys, what do we do here? Because I don't know now, I'm like, I guess I need to plan for these new sizes and see if I can make them, but I'm a little frustrated because I'm like, well, my Kindle that I'm going to be filming with is the old one, <laughs> which is fine, but it's just like, I would have waited, you know what I mean? I would have waited and got the new one, so then I wouldn't, I don't know, I'm just frustrated. I'm so frustrated. Now I'm like, should I look and see if I can return this one? I have all the stuff for it. <laughs> ah! Okay, um, I'm going to calm. This just added like a layer of stress to the launches going forward so I this is why I was like do I get into this especially with the sewing stuff I think like the new ones would technically I think they would fit in the Kindle sleeves unless they're a lot longer um but yeah woof congrats I guess on the new ones but like now I have to rethink all the inserts and have like more than one option Anyway, my brain hurts from all this thinking. Now I'm gonna get into things. I was like so distracted by all this that I was like, oh, okay, I guess I need to figure this out. Now we're gonna print things, now we're gonna make things, and um, hopefully we'll consider our future with this. I'm so frustrated. Ah, okay.
today just keeps getting better and better. <laughs> um, I just like this month in general. I got another waitlisted market. I don't even know what to do at this point. <laughs> I'm only in two, uh, and it's one in November and one in December. So I haven't. I was gonna do all those applications, which I still think I'm gonna do. But after that, I think I need to completely change up how I'm doing things. Also, sorry for the noise, my cricket is cutting market stickers. Um, I just feel so frustrated because I know I do well at markets and I have a good customer base and I don't really understand how I keep getting waitlisted. I also spent a lot of time on a lot of these applications and like really thought out my answers and you know made sure to submit really good pictures and I'm just very confused how it's so many um, and for some of them where I've put a lot of money time and marketing for them before so it feels very odd. Um, I know I just keep talking about this but I just I keep getting waitlisted. I've only had like one actual no. At least because they don't have wait lists. Um, but I just... <sighs> anyway, um, I'm going to try to figure out another plan. <laughs> um, I guess I just really need to focus on social media and making content that will hopefully go viral. So I can get a really big influx of online sales. Because now really I'm freaked out. Like I only have this weekend, next weekend, and then two more events for the year. And that's like not enough to live off of. That's not enough for my business um, in general. So I just, I don't know. I don't know. I'm very frustrated. <sighs> oh, stickers. We have more stickers. I don't know, you guys. I'm just like real confused. And like I'm seeing other the people, the, like the other people that are getting in. And I'm like, okay, well, we were at the same event at some of these. I don't know why, and it's like we're not the same business type, I don't know. It's just really making me feel like I really do have, to, like, as much as I love everything I'm doing, and I know I feel like we've touched on this probably a few times in the last few vlogs, but it's making me really question if I'm needing to switch things up as far as, like, my business just because of getting into markets. Like, it, the problem is, is, like, Getting is the hard part. The actual market itself I do well at. I've only had one flop this whole year. Even the ones that were like lower performing still ended up being really good for my business where I made new customers online or people got on my mailing list or they followed me on social media. And so it's like I know in person when I do get into these events I'm, I know things are going well and like my products are selling well and like people like it. But if I can't get into markets like I don't know what I'm supposed to do, you know? <laughs> Like, what's the girl to do? Um, so, making a whole bunch of free stickers right now. I don't know, I'm just feeling very frustrated because it definitely feels like it's just a really hard thing. Especially when I know I'm like getting into markets otherwise. And then when I've like heard the reasoning, like I don't know, when I actually do get an answer about why, it's like, oh, well, so-and-so, you know, there's something in that category. But like in every single thing I've been at where they've been like, oh, there's too many of your category and I've gone as a customer, like no one has stuff like mine. Like, yeah, I guess if people have stickers, but everyone's stickers are different. I just don't really know. And like my apparel is different. Like there's no one that sells stuff like my stuff in any of the cities I'm vending at. So I don't know, it just feels very very frustrating but I'm gonna keep making stickers and then we might be going Eli's gonna get off work early he's dropping off some mail for me which is great and then we might go for a coffee walk just to like get out of the house but I do have a lot of stuff to do for this market so we'll see anyway that's the update hello and happy Thursday everyone so Oh, there's a weenie coming. She says it is time for me to be in the video. Hello! Oh, she's stressed. Lavi's here. <laughs> Wanna say hello? She's like, no, I don't. Um, hello and happy Thursday. So today I've been already working on some stuff this morning. I'm trying to figure out some 
things I can do for this whole market season that is uh, crashing and burning. <laughs> Last night I got another waitlist which we talked about and I'm just feeling very, very confused, frustrated, and I feel like I keep pivoting trying to come up with a new idea of like where to apply, what to do, and I'm starting to come up blank. Um, but a market that I did last year that I don't know if we've talked about this on the vlog and I'm sorry if we already had but they had posted their applications it's in Spokane and it's like in the park and it was okay last year but I was like shoved in a really crappy space and it was really frustrating um and but the price was pretty low so it was okay it wasn't great um but they just posted Yes, or a couple days ago, they were raising it from fifty dollars for uh, for the whole event for the day to three hundred dollars, and I was like, "That's literally all I made at that market." Because I also like this coming market season, I'm doing things differently. I had a lot of seasonal items and not a lot of like giftables, and I'm focusing more on giftables this year. And that's just like something I learned, you know, over time. Like I just was like, "Oh, I guess." When people come to these, they're not buying like the things they want for themselves, obviously. They're buying for a friend or a loved one, family member, and so, which it seems obvious, but it's just like confusing because a lot of people are like, bring seasonal items, and I'm like, <coughs> bless me. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Um, there's been a lot of dust in the air, and I am allergic to dust, I feel like. Um, so anyway, <laughs> um, I am trying to figure out, basically, oh, anyway, so let's talk about this market. They got a ton of online messages and I commented being like, it seems very uh, wild to raise it from 50 to $300. I was like, I get increasing prices. And they tried to claim it was like because of COVID that they were being nice and still keeping those prices low. And I'm like, yeah, but that's a huge increase. Like, it's not like it's like 50 to like even 200. Um, so they did raise it or they lowered it today to 100. And so I think I'm going to apply. Last year, I did not do great there. I also was in just like not a good location. So I hope this year if I get in, I would get put in a better location. Um, but I am starting to really focus in since I only have a few confirmed holiday markets. I'm going to be focusing on the products specifically and like what I can do online to be better. I just started posting again on my TikTok account that I have my TikTok shop through. Um, if you're new here and I haven't, I haven't talked about this a ton, but I had an issue with my TikTok account last year where, um, because of, they literally told me it's so stupid. The TikTok shop, if you don't have one and you don't know like the back end, it's like the worst. It's really, really clunky. It's all AI. Like you can never talk to a real person. And when you do, they're like, shocked when something's wrong they're like what how did this happen and i'm like because all these robots are running it and you're running scripts that like can't fit all these different categories so even today i was trying to post my band book um bookmarks because i was like oh i haven't really posted new items on there because i don't post on that account um because it's daunting to start a new tiktok account and i posted them and they kept getting rejected because it had the word band in it like what <laughs> They're like, it's prohibited. And I'm like, the word banned? Great. So, anyway, um, I had to like be like, reading list, <laughs> book lover reading list checklist or something. I don't know. And then I, in the actual description of the video, it's like saying what it is. But I was just like, this is so clunky. Anyway, last year I had an issue because they wanted, for a while, they wouldn't let you put no brand, um, like a trademarked brand on your items. And so they said you had to put one. And so I, I just put my business name because I have, you know, an LLC or like I have all these things attached to it. And I was like, okay. But because I don't have a trademark license from like the government, uh, they like banned me and I couldn't get my account back. And it was like a big deal. Like I had gone viral last year and I, it was right around Christmas. And so I think that's honestly guys, I just made this mental connection. I think this is why I'm so freaked out about markets and like money and the holidays because last year all this was going on. Like it happened, I think my account issues happened, come on. 
like early November. It was like late December or late October, early November. And then I kept trying to get my account back because I, I literally had gone viral. I sold hundreds of my band book crewnecks and it was like a huge thing for my business. It was insane and it was really hard to keep up with. So I mean, at the time I was just like, you know, I wasn't sleeping. I was trying so hard to keep orders going and luckily people were going to my website when this happened. But because of that, my TikTok account views went way down. They've basically shadow banned me. Like I feel like content that used to do well and things that I was doing well at don't do well. I've also, you know, kept up with trends. It's just like exhausting. And I haven't had this issue anywhere else but TikTok. <laughs> um, and at times I've thought about just never posting on TikTok again because I'm just like, this is exhausting, especially when there's like always talks of bans. But anyway, I, oh, I just kicked the camera. I'm so sorry, you guys. I just kicked you. Um, anyway, I'm realizing I think this is why I'm so uh, crazy right now. Like, I feel like I'm very much terrified for the holidays because this is what happened last year and I, I could not get a video to get any views and I pretty much solely relied on social media for my business and that's why this year when I've worked on markets it's been scary because I do rely now on markets and I'm trying really hard to not rely on one or the other but it, when something's working you obviously keep to it. I know plenty of businesses have had this problem where they prioritize TikTok shop let's say and then their website kind of falls to the side because you're only one person. There's only so much time in the day. Um, but now that I'm, I'm reflecting, we're having a moment, we're having a deep thought, um, but I was like, oh, this is why I'm feeling so, I think, really scared for the holidays because I just don't know what to do. And so, I don't know, I'm basically gonna, I'm gonna apply, there's some more markets, I'm just gonna apply and we'll see. My market plan though is I'm going to be doing mystery box sets um, that you can buy for like that are themed and so I think I did this online too. I just posted a poll on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, please do if you would like to input on things. It's a lot easier to do polls like I wish YouTube had like a forum page or something or like some way we could all chat because um, I'd love to post like community polls but I post on Instagram a lot to get feedback because it's just hard when I'm sitting in a room by myself and even if I'm talking to Eli like he doesn't know you know the trends or like business stuff like it's just like yeah good idea which is great input but it's hard when I'm like I need to have like a room of people to be like this is a good idea because even though sometimes I think that something is a good idea and I put a poll out I'm like oh it wasn't <laughs> um anyway I post a poll to see if the mystery themed box gift sets would be a good idea and or if they want to do like build your own. I'm kind of thinking for so far the two markets I'm in I'm gonna do I'm gonna do these gift boxes I think that's a good idea and we'll do themed ones so I definitely want to do like a band book lover one obviously um, and then like just a book one maybe and then maybe a craft like a crafty one um, I feel like I have enough items that could be cute for that I don't know I'm just trying to come up with like ideas and keeping it like affordable like maybe a 20 $25 gift box um, with a whole bunch of goodies in it I don't know um, but yeah I think it's a good idea I'm excited about it especially after seeing like that cute <laughs> that cute order that came out I was like that would be like a, such a good idea to have like these little box sets I just have to figure out the logistics of it and how I would market that um, as well as how much effort like it's a lot to do so maybe I don't know I'm just like I don't know. but I also had another big brain idea for some launch stuff so I'm having like a moment this morning but I may I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do let's just say I only have these two confirmed markets ones in November ones in December um, the one in November is in Tacoma which is exciting so if you are in that area or you're in Seattle that might be my only spot. It is also on a Thursday. So I don't know. I'm a little anxious because I'm like, I really do need a market on the west side for the for the holidays. But uh, I'm going to keep applying and keep hoping or hope that one of these wait lists, like I've just been waitlisted on everything. And I'm like, if just one, one of the big events I get through, like I will feel so much better. But if not, um, we're going to have to, we're going to try some social media magic and hope that the, the viral fairies bless me and I make enough content that something 
sticks, but it also means I need to like sit down and like really 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 work on social media and I do posts like daily on Instagram and you know we post here and TikTok is like less posting but I know I need to get better about it it's just been such a like I, TikTok really scares me if I'm being honest I don't know if anyone else feels this way but like also people are just a lot meaner on TikTok <laughs> like I've had people like full-on bully me on there and I'm like I I'm too sensitive <laughs> I'm just like leave me alone I just want to make things um anyway <laughs> today we have I've been chatting too long I can already tell it's like 11 minutes um but yeah so those are the thoughts for the morning um I'm about to laminate some bookmarks and the Kindle inserts that I was gonna do a couple of them because I didn't have a ton and then we are going to I'm like what else do I have to get accomplished I think I need to press some apparel um we're really low on world tour sweatshirts I think we have literally one left and that's the one that I'm like it's my least favorite thing to press, but you know, it's okay. We'll do it. We'll do it together. And then I have so much design work to do, you guys. Like, so much. Ah! Um, I also have a crisis of things that are supposed to be here for this market this weekend is not going to be here. Um, my transfers for my mugs are not going to be here on time, which means Lavender Twilight will be out of stock, which is frustrating. I'm gonna double check all my transfers and make sure I don't have any like hidden where I can like have a couple. But yeah, like I'm just, it's been a, a week. Everything got delayed. Like I don't know what's going on. Um, maybe it is hurricane related, which if that's the case, understandable. But for the most part, everything's in West Coast based coming from California. And I don't know if there's just backups from like all the, you know, shipping companies. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. It's just, it is what it is. We don't have stuff here on time which sucks, but you know, again, can't change that. So we are gonna be out of the strawberry mugs and lavender twilights, and we have only a couple pumpkins, which is terrible because I ordered a whole bunch of pumpkins. So if anyone wants a pumpkin mug, now's your chance because I'll have some online. Um, but I think now let's just start laminating. Let's get into this day. Um, we are going to be leaving tomorrow for the markets. So I don't know how much we'll film tomorrow, but. That's just for future us to evaluate. Okay, now let's laminate. Okay, you guys, we're in the dungeon. <laughs> um, I'm trying to get it a little bit more organized, and I realized I was like, oh, I should have had the camera down here because I was like cleaning. Um, I also organized a bin of things I'm gonna donate and or have to just throw out because they're damaged, so they're like not sellable at all. And then ones that will be discounted because of minor mistakes or misprints. Um, and that I don't think I'll do online unless there's an easy way to do it. It's really hard to like, for people to make that judgment online um, when it's misprints and so I did a discount bin at Pig Out and it re did really well so I think I'm gonna do that again maybe for the last fall market since I'll have space um, I can't do it this weekend because we are taking the Subaru unless I like figure out a way to, to bring it and make space for it um, but we're doing everything in the Subaru this weekend which is very stressful um, but yeah, I'm trying to get this room a little bit more clean. We had a whole bunch of just empty boxes and stuff, so that is been taken care of. I'm also trying to figure out how to organize this better, and what I'm going to do with, like, all these blanks. Some of them are, like, samples that I never did anything with, um, and so I'm like, should I do, like, one-offs? But it is... Someone's upstairs. It is, again, really hard to do that online. <laughs> Okay. 
okay they're in the car so um anyway that's where i'm at <laughs> I have a ton of apparel blanks that I'm realizing I have that I didn't think I had before. And I'm trying to decide what to do. I think I'm going to have Eli organize them in inventory. Because, yeah, there's just too much. Too much to do. So I'm take this stuff upstairs, break down some more boxes, and then we'll make some apparel for restocking. That car sounds scary. Um, and yeah, that's that's the update from the... From the dungeon i'll show you my quick quick cleaning it's not great I'm, I'm not gonna say it's great okay so these boxes will most likely be donation throwaways which sucks but it is over honestly the last few years of stuff so that's not terrible and then the box over on the ground over there next to the press that will be discounted items um nothing really crazy different here i've been just kind of organizing and putting things on shelves um but i over here i'm trying to get that big stack <laughs> taken down and then here's all the blanks that I need to organize and that is a huge mess still. just went hey get down lavender we just went um and did our coffee walk and went to the coffee shop um which is my favorite um i just really needed whoa hold on there we go um i really had to get a lot of like brain storming done because this holiday launch is coming up i'm like whoa i need to get this like finalized with all the ideas i had everything written out and like color schemes picked. I just haven't like sat down and be like, okay, what exactly am I doing? So the fabric for, let's go out here. I'm like walking around too much. Hi, sweet beanie. <laughs> we just got home, so Lavender's very excited. And then Amazon showed up and they called me and were like, hey, are you here? And I'm like, what? It's an apartment, just drop it. Anyway, um, so, Holiday lunch, let's talk about it. Um, hold on, let me fix this camera, there we go. So, um, the fabrics have been chosen, they've been ordered for the book and Kindle sleeves. It's gonna be the same deal, it's gonna be a limited launch, but I'm very excited, I think they're very cute. And it's honestly the colors that I was planning on doing for this launch. Okay, lavender, that was a little extra. So, it's all gonna go together, okay. <laughs> Oh no! Oh god! 
just licked me. Ugh. Girl, chill. You okay? Ah! Oh God. There's a weenie. Ah! <laughs> She's so extra. She's like, please pay attention to me. I don't get enough. Lavender, you get so much attention. Anyway, holiday launch. Uh, colors have been chosen. I have all the sayings and things and what exactly is going to be launching. Um, I feel like this launch, I wanted to keep it pretty small, but already it's expanded. <laughs> Classic me. Um, but I'm excited. I think it's going to be very cute. I'm still trying to figure out the launch date. My goal would be the first which seems very ambitious because it's all of a sudden, what day is it? It's the 17th. Like how? I'm so pressed and stressed. So I don't know how that would happen. Um, I feel like at least if I can get it in the first week of November, I think that will be good. I think that's what I should aim for. Um, just for my own sanity, since I also have a lot of events and stuff going on. Um, in the next two weeks, so I just, it's a lot, you guys. I'm gonna get businesses, not for the faint of heart. Um, and I also still want to have another bookish launch for the holidays. I am gonna have some holiday themes, like bookish things in this launch um, for the, the holiday release. I need to come up with like the name of it. Last year, I think I did like Winter Wonderland or something was the name of my launch. I don't know what I'm gonna do this year. I don't know what the name should be. But they'll be bookish themed things and like cute things that are holiday themed but also book related so I'm really excited about it. But I want to have a separate book launch that's not holiday themed that people can shop from but I just, I don't know. It's not going to be as large as I want it to be and I need to just accept that. I also have so much design work to do and like all these markets in this month have really hindered that especially with all the back and forth. Um, I definitely feel like I'm putting too much on my plate. However, I don't know what to do. Oh my gosh, Lavender's just like rolling back there. You see all that movement? That's Lavender. Next to Luna, and Luna's like, leave me alone. Um, anyway. I feel like I put a lot of pressure on myself, especially with launches and the holidays. And since I'm my revelation this morning of I must be panicked because of last year's, uh, terrible time, I just am really... Wanting it to be a strong end of the year since this year has been the best I've had in business and it's been beyond I it's beyond anything I could have comprehended and it has been a little scary because this week as far as online sales has been really slow um, but it's okay it's fine my weekends luckily make up for that but I do need to figure out <laughs> social media hey what with me here. This little dog is so dramatic. She's like, I'm so hungry. It's not even dinner time. Look at that. Oh, you can't see that box. <laughs> That's for a collab. Anyway, um, I'm very excited about <laughs> the holiday launch. It's gonna be really cute and I hope you guys like it. Um, and there's gonna be things that aren't book related too, so it'll be a cute little launch. But yeah, um, I think now <laughs> I'm trying to decide if I'm going to press world tour things. Um, because it is such a pain in my soul to press these and so that is where I'm at right now I'm trying to decide if that's on the agenda. I'm pretty much ready though for this weekend's markets. I do need to um, make one more sign because I'm gonna bring ah, I'm gonna bring um, some mugs with handles and I haven't had a sign printed for that in a while. Lavender! Girl, you're being so extra. <gasps> Lavi. Ah! She was like, I'm gonna get you. <laughs> ah! Lavi. Lavi. Ah! Oh god. Oh god. Ah! Oh god. <laughs> She's such a mess. <laughs> What? What are you doing? No, she's like, I'm such a good girl. You're crazy. That's honestly her energy 24-7. Say hi. Say hello. Ah, you move too much. No one can see you. 
There we go. <laughs> She's so extra. Okay, so I'm gonna stop talking and I'm gonna get back to work. I'm trying to figure out my next move. So I'm gonna do that. Then we'll reconvene, hopefully. <laughs> Hello and happy Friday, my friends. So we had a whole bunch of orders come in last night. We had two on Shopify and then another on Etsy. So it felt very crazy. I feel like this week was a really, really slow sales week. I don't think we've had a single sale until yesterday. And now we have a whole bunch to pack. Um, I'm gonna pack them, I think on s Monday morning. So they'll go out um, because we are about to head out to go across the state again for another market weekend and we have two markets this weekend so that's going to be exciting for that vlog. Um, this morning I'm getting the last few things together. I printed off another sign. I'm going to bring some different mugs with me, my 13 ounce glass mugs which I haven't brought in a long time um, because my ninja transfers are not coming here in time for um, a couple of my mug designs which is very unfortunate for uh, for me because it's like my best sellers of course you know a classic tale let's see i'm like what if it is secretly showing up today that'd be great but i don't think it will it got delayed well you know it's fine um but yeah basically it's not showing up in time yeah tomorrow sucks so i'm bringing some different mugs and then um i need to restock the books and so i printed off the description list on here which is very bright on the camera um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna wrap these books, I think, and then I think we're ready to go, pretty much. So let's wrap these books together, and then we'll end our vloggy time. Okay, so we're about to head out now that everything is ready to go. Um, so I think this is where I'm going to end the studio vlog this week. Thank you so much for watching and staying along with me on this small business journey. I know there's a lot of ups and downs, but that's just the reality and that's why I share it. So thank you again for watching. I hope you guys have a beautiful day and I'll see you all next time. Bye.